Hello and welcome to our midweek message. As you know, over the last couple of weeks, we have been looking at the most ordinary moments of our lives, reflecting on them theologically and considering where we might experience God in those moments. And today we are going to talk about playtime with our kids. And this is something uh, uh, that for Caitlin and I mostly takes place after dinner, after we get home from work uh, and are able to devote several hours to playing with Elias. And to talk about playtime, I actually brought some of Elias's toys uh, that I wanted to show all of you. Uh, So first, we'll start off with one of his trucks. Uh, And this is a a truck that we just recently got him. It has a little uh, dump on it and that he will uh, play with. But one of the things I love uh, watching him play uh, with this is because He's so, so focused and and present in the moment when he's pushing his truck around. It's almost as if uh, nothing can get his attention off of pushing this truck around, having it move over things. Uh, And when he's doing this, he often makes his little uh, his little truck noise. And so it's really fun to watch him do this for hours and hours throughout the yard and our living room uh, and all over the house. The next toy uh, that I brought is probably, honestly, his favorite one right now. This is his lawnmower, and I'll put a picture up of uh, how he used it here recently. Uh, But Elias loves his lawnmower, and he'll push it throughout the house, and especially in the front yard and in the backyard. And uh, here just recently, when I was in the backyard mowing the grass, he was pushing it alongside of me. And the thing that I love about watching uh, him play with this is he takes it so seriously. So in his mind, uh, he is doing such an important uh, job and and he's having uh, such a a serious time uh, helping daddy uh, or or, uh, his mommy take care of the lawn. And so uh, I always enjoy watching him be so focused on cutting the grass with us. And then lastly, uh, this is just a really simple toy. Uh, but this is his cow, and he has uh, lots of different animals, uh, stuffed animals, and all sort of uh, hard figures like this, Um, but he loves animals, and he loves especially his cow, and one of the things he'll do is when he's playing with this, he'll go over the, all over the house, and he'll make his mooing sound, and he'll say, cow, 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 Uh, and he'll sort of put it all over the place, so maybe he'll put it on the TV stand, maybe on the coffee table, on the kitchen table, Uh, on his own little play table. He just becomes so focused on these little figurines. And I always wonder what sort of scenarios and adventures he might be dreaming up as he sort of plays around with them. I would love to be able to see inside of his mind, uh, but we can sort of only imagine the fun that he's having with these figures. Now, I show you these things because one of the things that has stood out to me as I've watched Elias play with his toys is that he has the capacity, as do other children, to be completely present to his toys. He is focused on the moment, and no worries, no stresses, nothing about the future, nothing about the past. He is fully present and focused in the current moment of playing with his toys. And you know, somewhere along the way, as we develop and grow, I think we actually lose this capacity as adults. Most of us aren't good at being present in the moment. We are are so easily distracted by many things. We endlessly scroll through our social media apps on our phones at night, occasionally getting off the app to browse the web to look up some random fact, and then we end up lost in the Wikipedia universe. And all the while, we have that movie that we wanted to watch playing in the background, and then we see a pile of clothes off in the distance that we didn't fold, so we also start making a list of chores that we need to complete around the house while Also, this was the night we were going to try to spend time with our family. Our attention is pulled away by all sorts of different things. We're in a constant state of motion, busyness, and getting to somewhere else and doing something else. Unlike the children playing with their toys, we are unable to stay fully present in the moment. And it makes me wonder, in being so distracted by everything around us, What do we miss out on? And specifically, how might we we be missing out on the little moments where God shows up in our lives? You know, Jesus said, you must become like a child to enter the kingdom of God. 
And maybe you could also say that you must become like a child, fully present and in the moment to see the kingdom of God that is already near. Friends, would you pray with me? God, who is always near, help us become like children. Help us see the world with deep fascination and awe. Help us to stay present in the moment and not become distracted by the many things in our lives that constantly pull our attention away. Help us become attuned to your presence in our lives and how your kingdom, the kingdom of God, is already unfolding around us. Amen. Thank you for tuning in for our midweek message. I hope that you found this message meaningful to you. And as you go from this time in this place, I pray that you would be fully present in the moment like a child playing with their toys. Go in peace. <laughs>